Hey bro, totally record for you, new part GTA 5. How are you? Please comment. I am fine, thank you. You ready? Go. Been extorting money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live? Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right, but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, D. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. Well, I really fucking do. Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Well, it'll be because I'm living out here away from the feed machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to line me up, but I'm very... Very angry. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out of here from LS? Uh, it's morning. Come on, man. Knock it off. What? I'm going to break your fucking fingers so you don't knock that shit off. Well, please. All right. You alleviate the boredom. Ah, what? Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to paradise. My car's just went dry out here. Don't oh, worry, brother. Life will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. We'll go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> and that's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. We're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my 
police scanner and drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right.
He says, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Set up a board over here. Oh, Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen. Some plans for your attention? Ah, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on? Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carry military-grade hardware past near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Lido Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin could be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, you do what you do. Roger that, and I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. I mean, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos! Okay guys, so this part is finished, please press like me, subscribe, comment, good luck, bye bye, I record for you a new part.